Well, hello YouTube friends. This is Saturday, October 14th, year 2009. And this is Mess About One in northeastern Alabama. And we're having, uh, I always say, <laughs> I guess, we're having a beautiful day here in northeast Alabama. But this really is a beautiful day. For mid-November, the temperature is 75 degrees. The skies are just a bit cloudy. The humidity is down low. There's no wind blowing. So it's just a beautiful day here in my part of the world today. And we are really enjoying it. Although, I've been working all day, I'm sitting right now on the second floor of my garage, barn, workshop, whatever you want to call it, that I've shown in some of the other videos. I'm actually up on the second floor, and we have the framing done, uh, just about all the roof framing done. The structure is up. I'll, I'll back off from the building here in a little while and show you uh, a view of it, of what it looks like right now. All the framing just about is done. We're ready to start putting on the uh, roof sheathing, and before long we'll put on the metal roofing and start uh, putting on the siding on the outside and finish up some of the trim. So we're getting real near uh, being uh, being close to being done anyway. Uh, we'll at least have it under roof before real bad weather. Uh, luckily, lately, uh, especially this weekend and last week, we've had some dry weather. We were held up quite a while because so much rain. We've had just a terrific amount of rain. I think October was uh, a record-setting month for rain in this part of uh, the U.S. And uh, it's dried out now and it's beautiful today. And We're getting back underway and going to finish the old barn up. So anyway, I'll get around and show you the outside uh, view uh, back away from the building, show you what it looks like now. And I had a few more things. Uh, had a little bad luck over the last few days. I've had a little camera. It's a little Sony camera. I'll hold it up here and let you see it. A little Sony uh, handy cam. It's called a uh, DCR HC42 NTCS. And I've had this little camera for, uh, I guess, uh, all the time I've been on YouTube. That's what most of my YouTube videos have been made with. Uh, it's not a HD camera, but it's a good little camera. And it has a little uh, viewfinder here in the back, like most little handy cams do. This thing started acting up. The viewfinder started acting up. And got where, when you turn the thing around, it, it wouldn't reverse the uh, picture. Which well, I could live with that. But then it got, there's all kind of little wires run out into here to, to make this work. It got, when you pull this out, the picture would go off on this little LCD. And... In just the last two days this got so it won't work at all. So this camera is kaput. It's no longer any good. You can look through here and uh, and see what you're trying to video, but you can't see the controls that are on here, the little touch button controls. And uh, I guess I'll retire this one. Uh, what I'm making this video on right now is the little uh, creative Vado, Vado, however you say it, camera little HD camera and it's uh, it, it makes very good quality pictures but it doesn't have some of the functions I like in the Sony it doesn't have steady cam it doesn't have a much of a zoom at all and it uh, if you set it on a tripod like I've got now it does pretty good uh, it doesn't do real good in uh, different lighting situations but the quandary now is, what do I do to replace the little uh, Sony? I checked on the Sony side about having this thing repaired. It says a minimum charge to have it repaired is around $200 if it's not the LCD. And of course, mine is the LCD. So that tells me it'll be more than $200 to get it repaired. And I can go out and buy one better than this, probably for around the same price. But here's my thought, and you might hit me out with this, uh, see what you, your recommendations uh, might be to replace the camera. For a while I've wanted a better camera. I like to make videos, and, and there's things that you can do with better cameras you can't do with one of the little small uh, handy cams. And uh, YouTube has just announced in the last few days that they are going to 1080i. I believe it is, resolution, which is very, very high uh, definition uh, that you'll be able to get off of uh, YouTube. That means you'll be able to hook it in your 
or your living room big screen and have a, a beautiful, a big fine detailed picture. Now, I don't know <laughs> so much for me sitting here like this, that would be real desirable, but for, well, I'll go out and make uh, uh, scenes of uh, surrounding area and nature and things like that, and uh, I think that would be real good to be able to, to make high depth pictures, although it, it takes more time to edit it, it takes more time to upload it, it's uh, more trouble to make, I guess, make good quality uh, HD pictures. What I'm thinking is, if I'm going to replace this thing anyway, and I like, uh, I like the Sony cameras, and Sony has what they call some prosumer uh, cameras, uh, consumer halfway between what a professional might use and what a consumer might use, but they're pricey, but they are good cameras. So my quandary is, do I go ahead and buy a camera a little bit better than this for a few hundred dollars, or do I go ahead and get a better camera that will last me and let me make almost professional quality videos for a few thousand dollars. That's quite a bit of difference, but a few hundred and a few thousand. And I thought about, uh, I have some ham radio equipment that, that I could uh, sell and, and uh, come up with the money to, to buy the video equipment, but I don't know right now. I've got to make up my mind. I don't want to be without a camera for too long. This little uh, creative does okay, but like I say, there's things that won't do. And I have some other things I think I might could use a better camera for. But anyway, uh, maybe think about that for me and let me have your comments on, on uh, what kind of camera I should buy to replace this one that's just gone south. It's been a good little camera. Sony makes real good, real good products. This one has been excellent and uh, the quality is not bad. Like I said, it's not HD, but it's pretty good quality. And for a long time it was better than what you needed for YouTube. So I'm going to turn the camera off here. I'm going to show you a little bit around here in the upstairs. And uh, downstairs is kind of dark. There's still plenty of sun coming in up here. So I'll show you some around upstairs here in the barn. May not show you a lot downstairs, but then I'll back off out there toward the road and show you a view back toward the barn. The barn's sitting in the back, behind the house in the backyard, way back on the lot, as far back as I could get it. And uh, like I said before, the building is about 22 feet by 32 feet, upstairs, downstairs. So I'll have about a total of about 1,200 square feet of floor space in the building when I finish. And I have in mind, uh, I'll show you where up on the uh, upper floor here, to make me a office uh, YouTube studio on the front end of the barn. And the front end of the barn will be 22 feet across. And I'm thinking about coming back about 16 feet and put up a petition and insulate that part of the barn and uh, heat it and cool it and have that as a uh, uh, climate controlled uh, area here in the barn for things you wouldn't want to store outside of a, a controlled area. Plus it would give me a mighty nice area for you know clean projects and, and uh, hang up my green screen and have a place to kind of retreat to be quiet and uh, remote from the house to make YouTube videos, food around my videos and my ham radio. might set up a little ham radio station up in it or stuff like that. Anyway, that's what I have in mind. Okay, I'll turn the camera around and show you the barn and then walk out in the front yard and, and show you a view yet unfinished but a whole lot closer than what it was uh, for, for a while. I'll see you later.